Well, Jake, the study sought to take a really accurate look at infection and fatality rates for COVID-19. And according to their calculations, researchers say that anywhere between 350,000 and 1.2 million people in the U.S., could die from COVID-19. So yes, at this point, the data shows that coronavirus is deadlier and more contagious than the flu. In the whole of the United States, um, there were 30, 35,000 deaths from flu. In the first two months this year from COVID, we have more than 100,000 deaths. So sure, surely this is a different beast that we are talking about. Dr. Anir Banbasu is the director of the Choice Institute at the UW School of Pharmacy. They developed a program that looks at infection and fatality rates across the U.S. by county. Data from 116 counties in 33 states was used to get a look at what is happening right now in American communities. It's not exactly a forecasting tool, but more of a tool to track how infection rates are changing daily. What they found is that right now in Washington state, fatality rates range from 0.5 to 3.6 percent, the current rate in King County. And with all this data, Professor Basu says that they can get to the central point of their research, which is to get a clear picture of how deadly the virus is to people who get sick from it. Interesting thing that we have found here is that once we take those death rates and back calculate how many symptomatic patients are there and how many true infections are there in the community, we can get some sense of what the true spread of the infection is in the community. Basu says as of right now, only 25% of cases are being reported, which means we're missing a lot of data. And that is why this study is trying to track it down so that they can help our leaders make better informed decisions for public health. Because as of right now, 98% of King County is still susceptible to the illness. In Seattle, I'm Amity Adrisi, King 5 News.